So you want to out the farm on two accounts at the same time or three accounts or four or even five. Well, don't you worry. In today's video, I'll show you how to create multiple instances of Roblox and out the farm or do whatever you want using Zeus, the best free keyless Roblox exploit and executor that still works after the buy for an anti cheat update. It's the only exploit that supports multi injecting at the moment. So yeah, let's get right into it. So you're probably familiar with the bypassing methods by now if not check out the video on my channel where i explain all three methods and show potential fixes well this video will be using the same methods with just some easy extra steps it may look hard but don't panic so we here you have the flustered method and then here you have the downgrading and then using uh, fiddler or HTTP debugger. So let's say you want to do the fluster method. The first thing you're going to need to do is going to be to have fluster installed. So let me install it real quick. Also, all the links will be in the description for everything. So don't panic guys. You can see it's almost done. And it's done. Now, if you go to the C drive, if you can see, you're going to have Fluster right here. So this is actually what you're going to use to make multiple instances of Roblox. So after you have Fluster right here, you're just going to make a folder. I've called it Roblox instance. You're going to copy the Fluster folder and you're going to put it in Roblox instance right here. After that, you're going to have it here. Just rename it. I'm just going to put Fluster1. And then open it. Then just go to the appx manifest, right click on it and then open with notepad. After that you're gonna see this. It's actually easier than it looks guys so don't panic just follow me very carefully. You're gonna go right here on the application where it says visual effects display name. You're gonna put another name right here. You can choose the name but if you want to have like multiple instances I recommend putting like one, two, three, four and I'm going to name it Fluster1 and then also the default title short name you also have to change it to 1. After that you go right here identity name and then you're just going to put a dot .1 at the end of this Roblox Corporation dot Fluster. You're just going to put a dot .1 at the end. The dot .1 uh, just says this is like the first instance so if it's the second instance you do 2, 2 and then here a 2 as well. But this is my first instance, so I'm going to leave everything on 1. On 1. Then you're going to save it just like that. And now this is done. So now you're going to need to open PowerShell. You can just search for it right here, Windows PowerShell. And then this will open right here. Then you're going to need a script. The script will also be in the description. In here, you will see some stuff. But the only thing that you will need to change is the path right here. So right now, if you can see, I am in C, Roblox instance, Fluster1. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it right here. And then at the end, it's going to be the app manifest.xml, the one that we just edited. So just copy this and paste it here. If you can see, as I said, it's a C drive for Roblox instance, Fluster1, appx manifest.xml is this file right here. And it's in this folder right here. Then you're going to press on enter. And if you can see some stuff happened. But now if you go and we search for Fluster. Fluster 1. If you can see we actually have Fluster 1. And if we open it. It's also going to be Fluster 1 at the top right here. And if you can see this actually works guys. And we also have the normal Fluster. Not Fluster 1. This is the normal Fluster. So if you can see, we have two instances at the moment, Fluster and Fluster1. You can make as many as you want with the steps I just showed you guys. So let me repeat it. If you want to make another instance, you're going to copy this folder again. So it's going to be a copy of it. It's going to be a copy of it. I'm just going to name it 2. You're going to open it. Go to AppX Manifest. Open with Notepad. And you're going to change the display name right here to... 2 again, oops, 2 again, and then dot 2 right here at the top. You're gonna save it, you're gonna open PowerShell, uh, do the script again, but now in the folder Fluster2, hit enter, it's gonna do some stuff, and now if you search for Fluster2, if you can see, it's gonna be right here, 
and we just open another instance it's that easy guys we have three instances right now so let me log in on all three right now so if you guys can see right now i'm logged in on three different accounts feeling cute zeus omggmh exploit and omggmh so now let me join again and inject zeus if you guys can see now i have blade ball opened on uh, all three instances on three different accounts now the first thing you're gonna need to do in Zeus is go to settings and then you're gonna press on switch to new DLL. This is the DLL that actually supports the multi-inject, you're just gonna press on OK and then you're gonna press on inject. Then you're just gonna wait a couple of seconds, it's gonna say injected right here. Now if you go to the game tab and then you press on blade ball on Zeus right here. If you can see, it actually opens on all three accounts on three different instances. So now you can actually auto farm or do whatever you want on three different accounts. You can create as many as you want on any game. You can auto farm any game. You can do whatever you want. So now let me show you the method with Fiddler and HTTP debugger. So you're just going to need this file right here. This is the one you use to downgrade your Roblox. So you probably already have this. You're going to create a folder wherever you want. I'm just going to do it on my C drive and name it Roblox UWP. And then you're going to just drag this inside here. After that, you're going to right click on it and then go to 7-zip. So make sure you have 7-zip installed. So go to 7-zip, 7-zip and then press on extract here. After that, you will see all of these. So the next thing you're going to need to do is go to the last one right here called win32 at the end. Make sure it's this one. You're going to right click on it and then you're going to press on 7-zip again and then go to extract files. Not extract here, extract files. Press on that. Then this will pop You're going to give the name to the folder. I'm going to name it Zeus, Zeus1. And then I'm going to press on OK. If you go to the folder that just be made, if you can see, you have the same files as with the Fluxter. But there is an extra step with this. You're going to have to delete this right here. APPX Signature P7X. You're going to delete it. So now it's gone. So if you can see, this is your first instance that you just created. So you're going to open the folder of the instance that you just created. You're going to go to APPX Manifest. Right click. Open with Notepad. Then right here, you're going to have to change some stuff. Don't panic, guys. It's easier than you think. Right here, Identity Name. On the Roblox Corporation dot Roblox, you're just gonna put a dot one. If this is your second instance, you're gonna put two, three, five, nine, how many instances you want. I'm just gonna put a dot one for my first instance. And then here on the visual effects display name, you're gonna change this to let's say your first instance. But if it's your second instance, you're gonna put two. If it's your third instance, you're gonna put three. It's gonna be the same number you have put here at the top. So right now it's one, but I'm gonna name it Zeus one. Just so you can see that you can actually put whatever you want. And also the short name right here, also going to change that to the same name that you just gave. You're going to save it. So file save or control S and then you're going to close it. Now you're going to open Windows PowerShell. And this script will be in the description. And here we'll just put the folder where you have your first instance. So I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to put it right here. So on my C drive, Roblox UWP, Zeus 1, and then the APPX Manifest XML, the one that I just uh, edited. So you're going to copy this, and then you're going to paste it here. As I said, uh, just the folder with the APPX Manifest.XML, the one that we just uh, edited. So then you're going to press on Enter. If you can see it's doing some stuff, it's done. So now if you go to the search bar and you search for Zeus 1, as I said, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to open it, hit or try. And if you can see this actually works, you have your first instance. And if you guys already know to bypass this, I'm going to open HTTP debugger, but you can also use a fiddler. If you don't know what this all means, go to the video where I showcase you all three methods to bypass this right here with fluster http debugger and also fiddler i'm gonna use http debugger since i in my opinion this is the better option so now we have uh, http debugger opened we're gonna close zeus one our first roblox instance and i'm gonna open it again and if you guys can see we are inside roblox with our first instance so let's create another instance why not 
So the same thing, you're gonna go to uh, Win32 right here. You're gonna right click, 7-zip, extract files, give it a name. I'm gonna do it Zeus2, hit OK. You see your second instance, you're gonna open it. You're gonna delete a appx signature p7x and then you're gonna right click and then go to uh, open with notepad you're gonna change it right here to dot two because this is the second instance that we make and then right here you're gonna also change the name zeus2 and also zeus2 you're gonna save it close it open powershell run the script again but we are in zeus2 folder hit enter is gonna be done already and you're gonna open Zeus 2 right now if you can see we have it right here and you're gonna open it and if you guys can see we have our second instance with the HTTP debugger or fiddler method right here it's that easy guys so let me log in and show it to you so if you guys can see we have on two different accounts the instances open Zeus 1 and Zeus 2 now let's join a game so right now we have Zeus opened and like in the first method go to settings switch to new DLL and then hit ok after that you're gonna hit inject wait a couple of seconds and it's gonna say injected right here so now it's injected in both instances i'm gonna go to the game tab and i'm gonna open the uh, zeus exclusive blocks for gy and if you guys can see it actually opened on both uh, instances so now we can auto farm so let me do a quick chest farm on both accounts right here chest farm as well and if you guys can see, we are actually auto farming on two different accounts at the same time using Zeus because Zeus is actually the best free Roblox exploit out there. It supports multi-injecting, it's free, it has no key, and it has a, such a big it's game, game up with over 200 games GUI that are exclusive for Zeus. And also with almost daily updates on the script, so you have the greatest and latest as always. So right now, let's try to auto farm on both accounts at the same time. I'm gonna do auto farm level, and if you guys can see, it's actually gonna start and it's gonna auto farm, which is really OP, guys. Look how OP this is, guys. It's actually insane. I don't even have words for this. Zeus is actually the number one Roblox executor and exploit.